Hi guys, welcome to another video. Sorry I've not been around lately, been uh, busy doing other stuff and uh, it's been kind of too busy to make any videos whatsoever. So, uh, well I'm back now. So this is a laptop that's come in, it's a HP 14 uh, S something, uh, DQ1508SA. Now it's come in with a, a power issue. So I'll show you what it's doing. Uh, let me plug in, oh, the charger's plugged in, that's great. Uh, so if we plug in the charger, I'll show you exactly what's happening. So we plug in the charger and the orange light will come on. That's fine. So we know it's um, hasn't got a uh, an issue with the motherboard or shorted motherboard um, and it is receiving the power correctly. Um, now you've got the power lights and that on this side. So let's just open the screen and this is what's happening so we press the power button um, it will flick on just about see that so my lights probably too bright but if I bring it closer to you you can see that the light comes on goes off I'll press it again and the same thing so there is an off obviously an issue with it so let's let's see what's what let's hit the back off I, I know it's an old machine it's an i3 but for this customer it's their it's their son or daughter's machine and they're very particular with what they use they only want this machine they're used to it um so they don't want to let's pull these off actually um, that's not always easy so you've got two rubber um these bumper things here so it raises the laptop we need to take those off we've got approximately two four six seven eight screws so let's pierce this and that will not come out so we'll leave it as it is um <clears throat> let's see what happens get a little tray or or a something like this which is a magnet strip you may not have one of these but that will just make sure the screws don't fly off somewhere usually i use a a tray but uh, I thought I'd use this thing it's there sitting there doing nothing might as well use it okay and as you can see the it holds the screws in goes up quite nicely so let's take off the back put this to one side we don't want to lose that put it in a safe location and you need something something uh kind of sharpish just to get the back off. I'd recommend getting off, not this side, because you've got all the ports there, uh, taking this side off first. So just open the machine and just get between the palm rest and this bit here. And you can just slowly get in there, okay? And just go around, don't go in too deep. And you can hear the clips, which is a satisfying sound. And as you can see, we've released the, the board, or the, the top cover, the base cover, I'm getting my words wrong, okay. Right. Okay, so the first thing I do is, very simple thing, uh, is remove the, the battery. There's a couple of screws. Oh, actually there's two missing. Ah, okay. That should be... Which means someone's been in here before at some point. Okay, so lift the battery off. Uh, we're going to drain uh, the, the machine with any power that it may have lurking around the board. Okay, so we're just going to keep our button on the finger on the button for about 30 seconds. I had it on pause so you don't have to sit there watching me do it for 30 seconds. So that's done. Now we're going to put the uh, the charger in, we'll put it on this side, uh, on, well, on the side, and we don't need the battery in to be honest at this point, but I want to see what, uh, so this side is where the LED lights are, I want to see what it's doing. Uh, um, oh, there you go, can you see the light there? So it comes on and off, so it's made no difference whatsoever um, so where do we start let me tell you where we start the easiest thing to do first of all 
and it's the most basic of um, process, processes to diagnose, diagnose the fault is do the simplest things first. Don't be, don't over complicate things, get your multimeter out and check stuff. Forget about all that for now. Let's do it um, slowly. Pull the charger out and take out the memory. Okay. It looks, it doesn't look dirty or anything. We can try the memory in a different slot. Okay. And see what happens. So put it in there. Sometimes you could get a, a faulty, you know, a, a slot. It's possible. Add them. Plug your charger back in. Lift the palm rest. Press the power button. What's going on? Let's have a look. We got anything? No different. Right. So, um, what's the next thing? You've got a power going around the board because the power's going in here. You press the bow button there, the light comes on. So it is going all the way through. There's no doubt about that. So let's get some um, more memory. Okay, so I've got the correct one here. Let's put that in. Make sure it goes in nice and uh, easy. So this one, the original is a four gig. This one is eight gig. And we'll plug in the memory. Charge it out, plug it in. The SSD is still there. And let's press the power button. Now if it works, we should get a kind of fan spin or whatever it is. Let's have a look at the, the light, what that does first of all. Well, that looks promising, doesn't it? And we've got a fan spin. All right, this looks very, very good, very promising. So let's have a look. Okay, so uh, there is no onboard bias battery. It's all part of within this, the battery itself. So this may take a while to come on. Uh, but I think, I think there's, yeah, I think that's okay. While that's doing that, I'm just going to give the screen a quick clean uh, with some alcohol wipes. I can't just sit here looking at the, the laptop. Let's just do something productive. It'll do the, the job for now. <clears throat> we'll clean it properly later. Give it back to the customer. Okay, so, ah. As you can see, we have screen. So uh, let's, uh, what does it say? Press enter, right, let's press enter. And as you can see, or not see, uh, ah, okay. We have display, so it's running fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into the login screen. Possibly there's information uh, regarding the customer's uh, it could be a picture of the customer or the login details or whatever. So I won't go that far, but you can see it's uh, booting up nicely. Uh, oh, actually, you can go to the, the splash screen. There you go. That's absolutely fine. So I think we've done done well. I'm just going to log out of the machine. Uh, I mean, shut it down because we don't want to just press, pull the charger out and then it corrupts the Windows files. So... That's a great result and uh, not bad for a Friday. But yeah, um, that's it. So what I'm going to do now is I'll leave that memory in there um, and we'll put the, the back cover back on. Maybe give it a quick spring clean before I do that. But yeah, thank you for watching and putting it back together is exactly the reverse of what we just done.